Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, it's another exciting day with another exciting character in the industry or faculty of art. This man has done a lot, a lot, a lot for the Zambian music industry. And mostly people are oblivious of the people behind the generation or the creation of those hit songs that you listen to. So today I have this music producer. This guy has done a lot, like tremendously, a lot, a lot, a lot for the Zambian music industry. And none other than Tony Wolf from ZNOP.com. Silent Razor. Young Shelf. Let's go. Don't go. Dave the track in Evil Dad. Don't go. Silent Eraser. My man. How are you? Yeah. Laka Laka. How have you been? Very good, man. Anyway, we appreciate you for allowing us to junket or to get catapulted into your salubrious or fastidious or congenial environment, which is your, your place or what I call your domicile or place of abode. You say thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. So, ladies and gentlemen, the man seated next to me is Mr. Silent Eraser. Personally, I don't know his real name, and I'll only ask him to tell me. Uh, his real pseudonym or the sobriquet or what it was the nom de plu uh, at this epoch of time or the juncture. Mr. Siren Teresa, kindly tell us what is your, your, your real name? Yeah, um, my real name is uh, Imanuzu. Imanuzu? Yeah. You're from Chipata? <laughs> no wonder, you know. <laughs> no wonder, Bakumawa. <laughs> These people from the East, Munao Nonga Mazina. You see? And about what time we are, time we should go free, but at that. Look about the time when about the Mumpiri at a pee. When about the Ramunjira at the roadway. No, no, I see that one. So, Mr. Siren Teresa, uh, when did you uh, actually fall into the Werigigi of music? When did you discover the talent of you? being a producer or sitting on the desk and the producing music? Um, I developed the interest of music production in, that was in, in 2003. Wow. Yeah. I was in grade 3 by then. <laughs> <laughs> so, you, you've been in the game for quite a period of time, for a period of time. Yeah, I've been there for quite some time and I've worked with a number of people. I remember uh, the time I developed that interest, I was still at school though. Okay. Yeah. Almost completed because I completed in 2004. So, because I was uh, I was an artist first. Okay. Uh, I was a rapper, then developed interest into singing, then later on jumped into music production. Oh yeah, I actually I've yeah. actually seen uh, some of your music while you're singing, and I can uh, adumbrate and postulate or compend that I loved the trajectory of your voice. I appreciate that. Thank you. <laughs> Try yeah. So. I'm not only into production, and sometimes I sing, and that, that's only when I'm featuring into someone's song. Okay. Yeah, but I'm, I'm also into composition, I also write music for most of these guys and I work with. Okay. Yeah, so... I've, I've, I've actually known you uh, for quite uh, a very paramount and the uh, pivotal figure that you've nurtured, that is the uh, Drifter Trek, Ndongo, the Ndongo song. That was a hit and is still playing and is still gaining coverage. That was a hit, and all kudos to you. Yes, yes, yes. You know, you, at least you have those flowers of mentoring other people and ensuring yeah. that their talent is put to light. Yeah. When did you start working with Drifter? And are you still together? Or what's the level of consanguinity or camaraderie between the two of you? Oh, you see what I'm trying to say is that yeah. is Drifter your relative or you're just? Working as a working partner. Yeah, we are, we are we're still working together. We started working together, I think that was somewhere around uh, 2016, somewhere I think. Okay. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, that's when um, we met. Then we started working slowly and then we tried out something which was his first single because I heard a number of songs and he tried several times to come to the studio until at some point, you know, I also. Head that was unique and you probably could do something that you can sell out there. Yeah, when yeah, we, we, we're still doing it, we're still working together. 
No, I appreciate you so yeah. much for that. I appreciate you so much. And the, initially, when I, I could hear of Silent Eraser, I thought maybe you were very bogsam, <laughs> as in very huge. And uh, a yeah. bit of that talkative and pompous in a way, you see. Yeah. But uh, I've come to realize that it is not what it is. You are what I call as uh, a celestial attuned soul. You see, very humble and uh, uh, very down to earth. You see, you are a very good person, you are a very good person and very welcoming, uh, totally different or no tantamounts or no conglomeration or in simpler terms, no convergence with these other guys that I know in the industry that uh, have those tinges or tinctures of braggadocio and megalomania. You are such a, um, uh, you are such a soul to reckon with. Yes. So, uh, Mr. Silent, what pro uh, products are you working on? What projects, the products that you are currently cooking in the studio? Yeah, um, at the moment, um, I actually have new artists signed on the label. What, what's the, the record label's name? Silent Music. Okay, okay. Yeah, like you hear most of the songs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Silent Teresa was a person and Silent Music is a label. Then the production, what's the name? The studio? Uh, the sound music oh. is, is the same. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay, the okay. same thing, yeah. But silent eraser is, is the best of my application. Okay. What was the new? So, it, also when you hear in the song it says the Nichuni Guru. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that's also my new logo as well. Okay. Yeah. So, what projects are you working on currently that you, you share to the world? And obviously, there will be bangers that will move people. Yeah. Um, um, this weekend we are working on Drifter's video um, of his new song. Yeah, a song is called Don't Mind. Don't Mind. Yeah, so it's one of the next projects we're looking on. And then uh, I've got another new guy. Uh, we're still trying to work on a song, but it will be out soon. It's called Mr. Warrior. Yeah, and I uh, also have two new popular type of guys. Oh, okay. You know? Yeah, uh, Slang Don and Email Simbo. Wow, yeah, I can't also, ask we, much about yeah. their pseudonyms because I know Copa. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, they also have a new single, okay. yeah, um, which is still coming out. So uh, very soon you get to hear them. Very good and talented guys. Okay. Yeah. And silent since the genesis or the preamble or the inquiet or what I call as the, or, uh, the beginning of your career, I'm sure you faced a lot of difficult situations or what I, in my language, call as the a lot of crinkum, crankum situations, a lot of uh, uh, hula balloons, or a lot of pestilential and uh, uh, difficult uh, conundrums that uh, have fallen your way. How has it been? It hasn't been easy, man. Like from the beginning, if, if you were to see the way I started it, it was hard. Because that time, even just the microphone itself. <laughs> we used to use, remember that the microphone, you can pick a finger, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. that's the microphone I started with recording, you know, yeah. those times it wasn't easy man, like it's, it's, been, it's, it's been about, you know, it's been hard, it hasn't been easy, we faced so much like ups and downs, a number of things, you know, but when you're concentrated on something, you just need to keep believing yourself and keep investing in whatever you do, whatever money you get, really nice. chase your vision, invest in it. So right now, at least, you know, it, it's bigger now. Almost everyone knows about what, what, what I do. So I will really appreciate God for the journey and all the experience that I've been through, you know, all the disappointments. I'm one kind of a person who just, just doesn't get, uh, like, maybe disturbed because something hasn't gone the way you expect them to go. So it's, it's been a struggle. Uh, I'm still patient and I'm still pushing forward. Oh, um, yeah, anyway, I, I, I appreciate your, your effort so much, you know. In as much as things get so hard, you don't need to be uh, in a lackadaisical like or in a pusillanimous situation whereby you are able to think with agility and promptitude. So with your case, it's a different one. And believe you me, silence, people will not tell you this today or tomorrow, but let me put it unto you that you are a very good figure and very influential to, to society. And I hope that uh, uh, a lot of people become uh, impressionable or susceptible uh, you know, uh, towards your, your work upon uh, dissecting or diameting their microscopic dislangeable or their eyes under your work, you need to be appreciated, man. So you, need to be appreciated. Yeah, you need to be appreciated so much. You know, Zambian music hasn't been 
easy, it's all about problems here and there, but for people like you to keep on soldiering and moving on, it's not easy. Yeah. As somebody who is in the industry as well, in the arts industry, I can as well relate that you need to be a workaholic for you to work things out. It's yes, been it's, like you do, eh? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm impressed with the so, so I follow. No, yeah, I, follow I, I appreciate so much. Yeah. Actually, uh, the time I called you, I thought maybe you are going to be hubristic or, or arrogant, but to my surprise, you turned out to be so positive in your answering. <laughs> no, you know, I, I understand the struggle. When, when someone has what it takes, like it's, your, your work is impressive, and we're, we're all in, in, the, in this industry, in the internet industry, so you know, there are times that, you know, we just need to take things in a good way. We help each other. You never know what happens tomorrow. If you look at where I'm coming from, if I could mention the people that I've worked with, or some of the people I've helped with. Mm -hmm. I've worked with people like Vene Red Linso, Vene Alugusu, Vene Jelenokana, he started from my studio. Judio started from me as well. A number of guys I can mention. Shimasta, you know, oh. but I can't mention a lot of them. Mm. All those old, old big guys that okay. I've worked with, the chocolate, the boy, the batu. Okay. Yeah, so just a few to mention. But, you know, it's about, like you said, you know, the concentration mm -hmm. and knowing what you want. So I'm also liking your direction, and it should be like that. So probably you should be the one to help other people tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. indeed. Indeed. Yeah. I'm, I'm always open handed and. Uh, I welcome different ideas. Yeah. Yes. So when this came into my mind, I talked to my uh, celestial being, which is God in that case, that God give me a way and let me see how possible I could be of help to people. So here I am now. That's, that's the way it is when you put God in the middle. So, uh, Mr. Silent, let me trouble you a bit. From now onwards, I want to see if at all Mr. Silent Eraser. Uh, can challenge me with the Dr. Professor Wanapsa walk. So let's uh, let's get to see what uh, Mr. Ereza <laughs> has for us. <laughs> uh, <laughs>